Welcome back, Summoners. It is time for an in-depth breakdown of Mobilytics. Mobilytics switched to Overwolf, and we are going to see what all the buzz is about. We are going to analyze every feature, every aspect of this app, and see how Mobilytics earned the S-tier rating in my tier list video. Thanks to my contact at Mobilytics, he has authorized a giveaway of 10 Mobilytics Plus subscriptions for a duration of one month each. Now, I could just pick at random, but I want this to be as interesting as possible. In the comments section below, the 10 best roasts of myself will be given the subscription. Keep it clean for YouTube's sake. If I comment on your roast to tell you that you have won, I will need you to email me with your summoner profile name and your Discord. And please, I need all of y'all to sound off in the comments. If this video doesn't get 10 comments, you're going to embarrass me in front of the Mobilitix devs. Don't do me like that, the number one roast will also get pinned. Let's start with the profile page. Mobilitix puts so much information right in front of you. On the left hand column with your ranked information and scouting report, you can see exactly what your ranked climb looks like and how you are measuring up in League of Legends. You can also see GPI and a primary role overview, complete with your number of games and averages across all of these stats like win rate, KDA, CS per minute, and LP gained or lost with those champions. What I like more is the performance overview. You can judge these metrics easily and see what you need to improve on. For example, at the time I'm writing the script, I am down 156 gold at 15 minutes from my jungle counterpart. I'm also not too shocked by this considering that Vi's first clear is slower than most junglers, but I also hold more than 20% of the gold on average per game. What this tells me is that even though I'm behind on gold at the start of the game, I do catch back up. Now. The way I use these metrics is I ask the question, am I pulling my weight? If I am, then I'm content and know that I'm going to do well and that I'm going to eventually climb. Given my win rate, that's accurate. However, if I'm not pulling my weight, then I need to make some adjustments, change my runes and playstyle, and see if I can improve. I could spend an entire video discussing these metrics and what they mean, but that will be a new series for all the apps to come. Hit the sub button so you don't miss when they drop. Beneath all that, you can see your match history, which we will get into later. We can see the recent activity and recent summary of your most recent games, and your KDA for recent games. I said recent games too many times in that. While this is interesting, if you tab over to your champion pool, you can see who you're recently playing with, and you can see I only play as Vi, and you can see all the other stats that the champions would have as well. The next tab is really cool. You can see who your best and worst matchups are with your lane counterparts. This is huge for ban suggestions, if you remember. The thing is that you also need to think about your team comp and if you are losing to the champion or are your teammates pushing with extended trades, begging Warwick to gank. Over multiple games, this can be a pattern and this can help you choose who to ban. The last tab right here is an enlarged version of your ranked climb, which is really cool. It's a nice metric. You can hover over it and see what matches you gained or lost LP with. I like this, but it's a little repetitive and it's only going to help you display it to others. It's not actually going to help as much as you'd like. Let's move on to the game highlights. This is still in beta, I need to preface that and you need to understand that. I'm using Mobilitix Plus, so I'm pretty sure I get 5 while the free version gets 3. Not certain, you can go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong. These moments are a great plan, you can easily see how they'll help you improve. It isn't as many clips as low is, but that is to be expected. I would like to know how Mobilix chooses the clips that it does. I can't argue with the results though, but I am curious. GPI time. If you are looking for a graphical metric of your performance in comparison to the average players at your rank, this is the metric for you. You can easily see if you are farming enough, if you are consistent enough in your games, what your vision is like, and you can compare that to any rank you choose. Now I have a few critiques of this. The first is that my GPI says that I am not fighting enough, which could be true, except I am in silver lobbies, which might as well be a slaughterhouse of champions. Fights don't wait for me, fights happen more often than not, people get fed without my impact. So while I shoot for 50% KP, I can't be everywhere at all times on the map, so I don't see this as a perfect metric. By the way, the key to low elo is just try not to die, morons will basically be begging for a fight and as long as you're even and haven't been giving them kills, you'll be fine. My next critique comes from the rank comparisons. I can compare myself to gold and plat players, which is cool, because that's what their stats should be like. The issue is that 
with my GPI says I measure up with a plat player, but I'm playing against silver players. There isn't really a reason that I can assume I will be playing at the same level in those lobbies. So this metric is not perfect. For a more in-depth breakdown of how to interpret these stats, hit the sub button like a hanging curveball. What I really do like about Mobilitix is the challenges. If you are looking to improve, Mobilitix can set you up with challenges that you can focus on during the match. These will not improve your macro choices, but you know that you're trying to take down towers with your Baron buff. This challenge will specifically be the pregame incentive to make that happen. If you need to dial us, and believe me you do if you want to climb, there are challenges for that, and challenges that will keep you trying to improve the more you play. I will touch on this more in a bit because you will forget what those challenges are mid-game. There is so much champion information in Mobilitix that it could be taught in a public school and potentially prepare you for the real world. You know, depending on your chosen profession, like, I don't know, a YouTuber for instance? Seriously, we are looking at the most popular runes and runes used by pros from any server you want, there are runes and spell imports, there are even tabs dedicated to different rune choices. I have heard complaints about this, about what runes it chooses to import. If you want to be automatic, then yeah, you're going to get what you get. It'll take you like 4 seconds to click on the different set that you want. Obviously I can't go through all the information because I would like this video to not be an entire book report. So let me highlight some special things that Mobilitix has to offer here. There is an expert video guide. There are featured combos and videos on how to execute these combos. Pro builds from masters level players, guides from how to play selected champion, counter tips, and even an ARAM page. Nobody can ever say that this profile page is missing something because Mobilitix literally thought of everything. Mobilitix has a tier list and I just want to point out that Vi is S tier on both low elo and high elo lists for junglers. That's really all I have to say on this matter. I can't wait until Arcane Season 2 comes out and she gets buffed to the moon. Let's move on to the pregame information. You've already seen a decent amount of this stuff from the champion page, but this is when you can implement those runes, spell choices into the game itself, also items, just saying. There is also a scouting report. Keep in mind that you will not get a full scouting report until the loading screen. There is still a lot of good information about strategies and how to handle certain champions that you are laning against. If you have Mobilitix Plus, you can even check out those combos pre-game. I like these features and they are certainly helpful, but how much you get out of them is in the user. For example, if I don't use the spell tracker, it doesn't matter that it's there. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about the overlays. In-game, we have jungle camp timers. Since joining Overwolf, Mobilitix has added small camps and summoner spell tracking. Love the jungle timers, but the spell tracker could use some work. A flash, a sound, something to let me know that the spell is back online would go a very long way to incentivize me to use this feature. League tracker knows what's up. Mobilitix has a CS tracker that tracks good information and compares you to your rank to show you if you are doing better or worse than expected. I enjoy having this as it is a good baseline for what I need to pick up the pace on during the mid game. If the bar is red, I need to focus on something. Mobilitix stands apart with notifications when champions hit levels or purchase certain items. Just enough to catch your eye, not enough to get in the way. Absolutely perfect. Speaking of, Mobilitix also has a gold to item in the bottom left corner of the screen. This is an incredibly underrated feature. Here's why. How many times have you pinged an item to see how much gold away you are? Now you don't have to. The only downside of this is that it is going to count the gold towards the build it recommends. For example, in this game, it is building towards Executioner's Calling, but based on their squishy team comp, I went with Hail of Blades and built Eclipse into Collector for burst damage and was trying to just delete the enemy champions without worrying about their healing or my ability haste. Mobilitix also has hotkeys for their overlays to display against your lane counterparts, which is a really nice touch, I like having this information, but what I like more is the gold tracker. This right here can show you who is fed and who isn't, but be careful. This is gold in your items, not your pocket. Check this out. This is before I recall to spend my gold. I do not have the most gold on the map, even though I am clearly the most fed. After my trip to Fountain, I come out with the most gold on the map. This is a very important distinction to make. What I would love to see is an overlay dedicated to displaying my challenges that I have set so that I don't have to wonder what they were during the game while I'm trying to focus on other things. There is always room to improve and Mobilitix could easily add another overlay with this information to actively help players improve during the game. The post game has a lot of information to highlight including their cheat sheet on the right that tells you what you did well and abuses your vision score, obviously. 
There is your standard post-game information that you can see in the league console, and then there are some advanced stats underneath that. If you are looking for information on how you well you played, there is plenty of information right here and plenty you can take away from the game. If you want to join the raffle for a month of Mobilitics Plus, don't forget to comment. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you want to try Mobilitics, use my code. And if I forgot something, let me know. That's it. I'm out. See y'all next week.